And the weather should be really nice for the Lexington Barbecue Festival this weekend in Uptown. And just in the last hour or so, some roads have been blocked off to get ready for the thousands of people who are expected to come out there and enjoy all that good food. Fox 8's Celeste Smith joins us live in Lexington with a look at some of the preparations currently underway. And Celeste, we know the restaurants, these vendors, they've already started cooking. Yeah, that's right. The four local barbecue restaurants participating in the 39th annual festival will have up to nearly 10,000 pounds of barbecue and they're going to be cooking it tonight so that it will be served fresh tomorrow. Today we're going to get the meat cooked, which is the, probably the hardest part. So 200 shoulders, get those cooked, they'll be done probably 6 in the morning. We'll start chopping them up. There will be three barbecue tents set up along South Main Street for the Lexington Barbecue Festival on Saturday. Participating restaurants are Smokey Joe's Barbecue, the Barbecue Center, Stamey's Barbecue, and Speedy's Barbecue. They'll begin serving around 10 a.m., serving hot dogs and the event's namesake, Lexington Style Barbecue. Like I say, it's camaraderie between all the other restaurants. And, you know, we're all pitching in together trying to get this done. Many restaurants prepared sides like coleslaw in the signature Lexington style barbecue sauce dip earlier in the week, preparing while still serving customers at their restaurants. With the help of dozens of employees and volunteers, they are working to get hundreds of pounds of barbecue cooked and chopped in time for the festival. Well, we have to get quite a bit of slaw and dip, and we take that uptown in a refrigerated truck, and then we bring the barbecue up Saturday morning around 8 o'clock in Cambrose containers, which keeps the barbecue good and hot. So uh, there's a lot of work for everybody. They look forward to the business it brings to the city. I think that day all restaurants reap the benefits, not just barbecue. I mean, just everybody's busy. So it's a good day. It's a good day for businesses uptown. If you've never been here before, you can always come back. Once again, there are already several street signs already placed for road closures and detours around Uptown Lexington for the barbecue festival. And it's not just barbecue here. There are also bands and vendors and also maps placed around Uptown so that you can take a look at what might be an option out here. And you can also find those options on the festival's website. Live in Lexington, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News. Always a great event, Celeste.